Juve squeeze past Spezia to boost late title push. Amago, Hoke ZWEI, Italy Photo Press. Juventus continued their slow creep into the Serie A title race on Saturday with a 1-0 win over Spezia which moved them to within five points of leaders. Inter Milan. Alvaro Morata scored for the first time since mid-January with 20 minutes on the clock at the Allianz Stadium in Turin to keep Juve on the heels of champions. Inter, who hammered Salernitana 5-0 on Friday. Juve could find themselves seven points from the summit as Napoli host AC Milan in Sunday's late match, with both a point behind Inter ahead of one of the biggest matches of the season so far. However, regardless of the result at the Stadio Diego Armando Maradona, Juve are applying pressure thanks to a run of 14 league matches without defeat. Stretching back to the end of November, Coach Massimiliano Allegri has repeatedly insisted that Juve are not in the title race and Murata was equally evasive when asked about his team's ambitions for the I am of my own opinion which is to think about the next training session and the next match. We can't think about it too much, he told the Zone. Sunday's was a far from accomplished performance from a team missing a host of players including Paolo Dybala, Weston McKenney, Giorgio Chiellini, Leonardo. Benucci and Denis Zakaria, Juve's only goal came thanks to a dreadful error from Spezia goalkeeper Ivan Pruvdal, who hit a bad kick straight to Daniele Ragani. The centre-back pass to Dusan Vlahovic, whose layoff to Manuel Locatelli was followed by a quick pass to Murata, who pushed a low finish under Pruvdal. Spezia responded in the second half and had two great chances to level, with Emmanuel Giassi heading a huge opportunity straight at Wojciech Szczesny 5. Minutes after the break, Szczesny then had to be at his best to stop Kevin Agudelo, the Poland keeper charging out of his goal with 10 minutes remaining to make sure the Colombians. Close-range finish didn't earn Spezia what would have been a deserved point. Vlahovic's replacement at Fiorentina, Krzysztof Piatek scored his sixth goal since arriving in Florence in January in a 1-1 home draw with Verona. Piatek opened the scoring with a neatly taken finish with nine minutes on the clock but Gianluca Caprari leveled the scores from the penalty spot ten minutes. Lucas Torreira then missed two sitters for the hosts who are ten points behind Juve and all but out of the Champions League race despite having a game in. Domenico Berardi continued his impressive season for Sassuolo with a brace of penalties in a 4-1 win at struggling Venezia. Italy winger Berardi struck from the spot in the 17th and 71st minutes in an entertaining match in which Giacomo Raspadori opened the scoring in the second. Minuten Gianluca Scamacca netted another spot kick just before the half-hour mark. Berardi has scored 12 times this league season and is also in double figures for assists in the best campaign of his career. With Federico Chiesa out for the season the 27-year-old will be in Italy boss Roberto Mancini's thoughts ahead of the Azuri's crucial 2022 World Cup. Qualification playoffs later this month. Alessio Dionysus' flamboyant Sassuolo sit 10th on 39 points after a win which was an all-one-way traffic on the Venice Lagoon. Thomas Henry cut the deficit to two goals when he headed home his sixth of the season shortly after Skamaka scored, but the hosts missed chances in a strong period just after halftime and Berardi punished their profligacy. Paolo Zanetti's Venezia are third from bottom on 22 points, three behind Colliery who were thumped 3-0 by Lazio on Saturday. Genoa are four points behind Venezia in 19th after Alexander Blesson became the first Serie A coach to draw his first six matches in charge following a goalless stalemate with Empoli.